Hello creeps, Andy here, and I am moving. My husband and I just bought our first home, which I never thought would happen in California ever, and we're kind of shocked and surprised and not ready for this at all. We have until the 31st to move, and today is the 24th. So we gotta move pretty quickly, and most of our stuff is easy, but all of the books, not so much. So come move over 500 and 600 or something books with me. Oh my gosh, there's so many. There's so many more even than I had last year when we moved here. So I'm gonna give you a slow pan. Also keep in mind though that all the books on the floor were from filming videos, so they're separated. It's a mess, but I, you know, it's because I was doing something, they're not always like this. There are usually some piles on the floor, not this bad. I'm gonna show you all the books we have to move and then yeah, I'm gonna take you along for the journey on how I feel moving hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of books. We have to go down three flights of stairs and up one flight, which is better than last time. Last time we went down one and up three, so it's at least a little bit better. But anyways, let me show you what we're working with here. Come with me, children. This is what we're working with here. There's our two full shelves of books, two other full shelves of books, and then a lot of them are missing places because I have all of these all over the place on the floor. And then I also have my TBR cart and still piles of books over here. This is 98% of them. There's still, you know, a few here and there around my house, but this is what we're working with. This is what I have to move in the next few days. So come with me along for the journey the, the next, next day. day. Did I only pack one box yesterday? Yes. Should I have done more? Yes. Am I gonna do more now? Yes. Am I excited to move? Yes. Am I excited to move hundreds of books? No. But let's get started. They're not gonna move themselves. <laughs> that would have been cooler but I ran out of boxes so that's what I have left one more shelf and here's where we are now all of our boxes so now I have to go unload these oh no I'm bleeding unload these and then bring boxes back so I can finish the last of them but not too bad 
Okay, so here we are with my office so far. This is, these are all books. These are all books. There's a, everything's books, books everywhere. Now I want to put these up against the wall, but I'm kind of thinking I want to add lights somehow to them. So I've, I'm gonna have to maybe drill holes and then feed lights through. I don't know, I'm gonna try it out and see if it works. And then I think I'm also gonna anchor these to the wall because in my last apartment, they were kind of leaning forward, which made me a little bit nervous, but at least right now I'm going to like, you know, put them against the wall and maybe get some of this a little bit squared away. So let's see. A significant, a significant amount of time, time later. later. Hello, and welcome to my personal purgatory where I can't find any book that I want to read, so instead I've been going to the bookstore and buying new books, <laughs> even though that is obviously very unnecessary. So here's the deal. Let me just give you a wrap up up to this point and then we'll go from there. Hold on, I think one of my dogs wants in. So here is what happened thus far. Okay, so we've recently moved and hi. We were supposed to move like a month before we did. So I would have had ample amount of time, but we didn't know if we were going to get this place or not. So I wasn't packing because things were weird and it was a hassle basically to buy this place. But I didn't pack things the way that I normally do, which is like separate them per bookshelf. And I just kind of packed as quickly as possible because we only had, I think we moved out in like a week, like we only had a week to move. And we found out that we got the house like, like the week that we were supposed to be out of the last place. It was pretty stressful. And then we moved here and we had to deal with some other stuff. And then I went to fix my bookshelves. And so I was like, you know what? I want lights on my bookshelves. So I started, me and my husband drilled a bunch of holes in my bookshelves. <laughs> And then I started feeding, I don't know if, there's probably a better way to do this, I really don't know. This is the only way that I could come up with to do it. And so then I started feeding the lights through and by this time my husband wasn't helping me. And so I went up to him and I was like, hey, can you help me? Cause the lights kept getting tangled and it was kind of a pain. I thought two people would make it a little bit easier. And he came in <laughs> after I had been working on it for two hours and just ripped the bookshelves apart, but the lights are attached. So he just broke the light strand. And I was like, I just spent two hours doing that. And he's like, I'll help you put them back in. I'm like, no, I, I, it's already late. I don't want to waste another two hours. So he ended up buying better quality lights and he was going to do it a different way. He couldn't figure out the wires to get it to work, whatever. He was trying to make it so not all of them were attached to each other. So they were like independent of each other. So it would be easier to move them. But we bought this place. We're not planning on doing anything else with this room. And so I was like, you know what? It's fine. We'll just run it how I thought we would run it. So anyways, quick update. The lights are finally up. This is what it looks like. And it looks, I think it looks really good. I don't know how it's going to look with the, with the books on the shelves, but it seems like they're doing pretty well. It seems like they're sticking and I think it'll look really cool. Now I have to put these in some semblance of order to put them back on the bookshelf. So that's kind of what we're doing now. But we recently moved, like I just told you, and I wanted to tell you a story because I just remembered, this is, if you want, this is a true story, okay? If you want a horror moving story, I just remembered this from when I was a kid and I think it's so weird and so I wanted to share it with you, but let me grab my phone. I got my phone, I got my boba, I got my Mosley, we're ready to go. This happened a long time ago. I was a little kid, I was probably five, six, seven, somewhere around there. We had just moved into a new place. It was my family and then another family. So there were like a few parents and a few kids that just moved into this house together. But I wanted to show you a text message. So we move into this new home. I don't remember every little detail because I was really young, but I remember us all being in the garage and we're just kind of looking around. I couldn't remember if we had just moved in or if we were like viewing the place before we moved in. But in the text message that I'll show you, 
we had already moved into this place. So we're all in the garage or maybe one of us is in the garage and then we all get called in there. I don't remember, but I remember that one of the adults found something in the rafters in the garage and we were like, oh, that's weird. They must have left something, forgot something. And so he goes up there to get it and it's one of those giant ice coolers, okay? And so he he's like, wow, this is really heavy. And we're like, what's in it? And he's like, I don't know. And we're all like, oh, what could it be? Treasure. And, you know, we're little kids. And so he brings this giant ice chest out of the rafters and he puts it in the middle of the garage. And I just remember all of us, because there were a bunch of us living in the house at the time, standing around it, looking at it like, oh, what is it? What's it going to be? And we open it up and it is filled to the brim with beans. Like someone had opened like a hundred cans of beans and poured it into this ice cooler. So it's so weird. Okay, so then I texted one of the adults that lived there and I said, hey, when we found that ice cooler filled with beans in the garage of that house, did we throw the whole thing away or did we look through it? Cause I couldn't remember if we had, cause we were like, is there like a dead body in here? I remember us being like, what is this? What, you know, I don't know if it was just there to like piss off the landlord, but it, he was obviously renting it out. So like that doesn't even really make sense. And I said, also, did we find it after we moved in or before? And then they said, haha, you remember that? We found it after we moved in and I think we tossed the whole thing in the trash and no one wanted to look through it. And then I said, I think I'll remember that forever. I was just thinking about it since we moved. I was like, no one took a picture. And then they said, no, we didn't have cell phones back then. It was like the early 90s. And then they said, I, and I remember we were weirded out by it. And I do remember that too. I remember all of us being like, this is so strange. Why would somebody do this? And then uh, I just said, I remember us all standing around being very confused. Was it baked beans? And they said, I think it was black beans. So they opened up so many cans of black beans and just poured it to the top of the cooler. And like, it, there could have been body parts in it. There could have been evidence. It could have just been beans. I have no idea. But how weird is that story? And that's like ingrained in my memory. And every time I move, I think about that. So I just wanted to share it with you. So now you can think about it forever. But anyways, um, aside from that strange story, Let's get to putting these books on the shelf. I don't really have a plan, to be honest. That last bookshelf that I had wasn't really even all that put together anyways. Now I'm gonna have to go through and separate the books and put them on the bookshelf. So let's do that. Okay, so I've just kind of separated them into books that I don't care if that are on my bookshelf. I put the Stephen King's back in a pile. This is poetry. A lot of this is separated, kind of, and then these are books that I want to include on my bookshelf, but they'll go kind of anywhere. And so um, I think what I'm going to do now is do the bottom rows. Um, I'm going to put the bottom rows on, which is just like textbooks and um, yearbooks and things like that, the heavier books that I own. And then I'm just gonna kind of start from memory. So let's get started. Some notable things that I found thus far. I found this magic eye. Do you guys remember these from like the 90s where you hold it close to your face and then you pull it away and you're supposed to be able to see a picture? I've never been able to do this. Do you guys remember these books? I have had this since I was a kid and I've still never figured out how to do it. I also found, I not going to show it, but I found my mom's yearbook, which is crazy. But you know what's really crazy is looking through this, how short the gym shorts were. I'll show you a picture, a close up. Look at those shorts. That's insane. I can't believe the people wore these. Anyways, um, my mom's photo is not in this yearbook, which I thought was really funny because I wanted to compare our senior pictures. I think that's her senior yearbook. And then I got out that yearbook and then I realized I don't even have a senior yearbook, I don't think, because I'm not in it, because I didn't take my picture either. So I thought that, that was pretty funny that we both weren't in our yearbooks. I also found, you guys remember these AP magazines? Like, you know, Ronnie Radke, Pierce the Veil. Oh, this is a Fangoria. And then I got a bunch of Fangoria magazines. I found all these, which is pretty cool. And then I found a bunch of Rue Morgue magazines, which is pretty cool. So that's cool. It's not all of them, but I just wanted to show you those. I also found this, 
which is a Barbie comic book from when I was a kid. Look at this thing. It is ancient. This is crazy. I should read this and see what, what it's about because I'm pretty sure it's probably interesting. But yeah, I remember it be, having these as, kid, as a kid. I have three of them. I have this one, this one, and then this one doesn't even have a cover. The cover ripped off of this one. So that's crazy. These are so old. And then the last notable thing that I found was, <laughs> this is pretty funny. It's called Seven Up's Second Adventure. Uh, this was the first book that I wrote. So why it's his second adventure, I'm not quite sure. This is Seven Up. Just hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce Seven Up. So snakes were my favorite animal in elementary school. And I got this, I think it was fifth grade. And I, I'm so embarrassing. I used to wear it in my shirt like this. I thought I was so cool. And he has been with me through everything. I love this stuffed animal. And so, oh no, I'm, oh no, yeah. Cause I wrote this in sixth grade, I think. So um, this is Seven Up's Adventure, and yeah, his name's Seven Up. And then in the book, maybe I'll read it to you one day. I maybe I won't. I don't know. Oh no, this is his second adventure because his family's not in this one. Shoot, that means I have a first one. Where's Seven Up's first adventure? Anyways, I have one where you meet Seven Up's family. So like this is Root Beer, his little sister, <laughs> and then he has like a mom named like I don't know Coke or something. I don't know, I just thought that was funny. I have not read this one, so I have no idea what it's about. And it says that I'm 11, I'm an 11 year old girl that wants to be an archeologist when I grow up. I did want to be an archeologist for a really, really long time. She also hopes to get older and live in a house with her friends and she hopes to live there for a while. Okay, well, I still do, so <laughs> I just thought that that was really funny. So those were some notable things that I found thus far uh, going through all my books, so. Um, 7-Up's gonna help me sort the rest of these. Okay, I've done this so far. I didn't show how I was separating everything because I'll, I'll do a full book tour once this is all done. But so far, so good. Almost done. Yeah. I did it. It's done. Now the moment of truth. I'm going to turn off the lights and turn on these lights and see how it looks. Uh-oh. <gasps> it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's better than I thought it would look. That was so worth it. Okay, I am so shocked about how these turned out. I'm so excited. Uh, let me know if you want a full bookshelf tour, if that's something that you'd be interested in. And um, if not, hopefully you enjoyed this long video of moving over 600 books. I actually don't even know how many books I own. I'm just guessing it's over 600 because I think last time I counted it was, I had like 550. But regardless, thank you for coming on the journey with me. And I will see you soon with another horror video. Bye, guys. By the way, that took me like five hours to put all these books up. It was insane. Okay, thanks. Bye.